Hello everyone, I hope y'all are having a great day. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Usually my content consists of book reviews and me complaining about life, and that's kind of it. We're really delving into some foreign territory here by doing a book tag. This book tag is called the Do I Have That Book Challenge. It was originally created by Keeping Tabs, and I'll leave her original video down in the pants so you can check it out. But this is a tag that I've seen circulating for a long time now, and I wanted to wait until I was back home to film it because when I'm at college, I have max maybe like eight or nine books with me, which is not enough for this tag. This tag, you need to find 20 items on your bookshelf. And it's a challenge, meaning you're supposed to put the clock at eight minutes and do as much as you can in those eight minutes but I perform very poorly under pressure and also I'm really lazy and I think that if I do the time challenge I'm gonna wreck these shelves and I really don't want to have to put in the labor of putting them back in order again so we're just gonna take our leisurely time but I will say I spend very very few days of the year now back in this room so I'm actually pretty unfamiliar with what's on my bookshelves when I walked back into this room this summer I was like Whose books are these? I forgot there was a time that I had such a book buying problem. But anyway, hopefully this means I have a good selection for the 20 things I'm supposed to find. Let's get started. If I'm off screen, what is this called? Out of frame. I'm a film major. If I'm out of frame, I'm just looking at the laptop to see what I'm supposed to be finding. So number one, do you have a book with deckled edges? Yes, definitely. Uh, <laughs> oh, hold on. And in the French Kiss paperback, this is deckled edges, right? This is what it means to have deckled edges, right? That, like, the pages are unevenly cut. So this should count. And in the French Kiss, it's Stephanie Perkins. What else? What's a book that looks like it might have deckled edges? Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. You know, some books just have, like, that deckled edge aesthetic. You know, they look like they have uneven pages. This is Z by Teresa Ann Fowler. It's about Zelda Fitzgerald. And look at these pages. She is deckled AF. Am I right? Am I right? That's what deckled edges are. I'm pretty sure. All right. Let's go. Do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? For sure. My immediate instinct is definitely Rick Riordan. Hidden Oracle? No, there's solidly only a single person on that cover. Rick Riordan, you're letting me down. Sword of Summer also just has one person. The Lost Hero. Oh, yeah. Take a look at this. It has Jason, Piper, and Leo on the cover. Oh, yeah. Done. Done. Okay, see, look at this. Look at how much effort it is to put this stuff back. And I definitely just tore the last Olympian book jacket right there. Whoopsies. This is why I can't put time on the clock. I need to take my time here. You see this meticulous craft? Come on. Okay, next. Do you have a book based on another fictional story? Oh yeah, where's Cinder? Cinder not on this shelf? Oh. See, I don't even know where my books are. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. It's a sci-fi retelling of Cinderella. Killed it. Crushed it. Game over. Not really. This is only like the third one out of 20. Let's keep going. Uh, number four, do you have a book with a title ten letters long? Uh, Grave Mercy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, ho. oh, ho. baller. Okay. Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. Lefevers? I don't know how to say it, but I know how to count. Grave Mercy has ten letters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Moving on! Do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? I just looked at the goldfinch and I was like, yes, that one. No, Sophia, T and H are different letters. There are so many titles that start with a T, but very few that end with a T. <gasps> Twilight! Oh my god, New Moon! Oh my god, Eclipse! Wait, almost this entire series works! Stephanie Meyer just... it's a gift that keeps on giving. Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. Starts, ends with a T. Beautiful. Perfect. Incredible. Show-stopping. Never been done before. Alright! Oh my god, these are really tight in there. Okay. Do you have a mass market paperback book? Oh yeah, for sure. I have a ton down here. Let's just choose this one. The Return of the King by George... What? I was about to say George R.R. R. Martin. Oh man. J.R.R. R. Tolkien. God, this is such a hideous cover. I keep these on the bottom shelf for that reason. What's next? Do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? I have no idea. Oh, okay, actually, I only know this because I've been watching other people's videos of this. There's always, like, someone in the comments that's like, Oh my god, Cassandra Clare, that's a pen name. Pfft, here we go. Cassandra Clare, Clockwork Prince. I don't know what her actual name is, but, uh, apparently it's not Cassandra Clare. This feels like a dirty point because I didn't really know that. But we're taking it, we're moving on. Do you have a book with a character's name in the title? Yeah, I mean, Cinder and Scarlet, right? Those are literally the main character names. Oh, this one. Aru Shah and the End of Time by Roshani Chokshi. I haven't read this, but I'm guessing that the main character's name is Aru Shah. No way was Aru going down those stairs first. Sounds about right. Sounds like it was a smart guess. Can y'all hear that? It's like someone's mowing the lawn. Hello? A 21-year-old is uh, talking to herself in her room here. Can you keep it down? <laughs> Wait, actually I could have done The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. 
Oh wait, I could have done Fang, a Maximum Ride novel, or Maximum Ride, The Angel Experiment. Wait, this shelf is really, it's doing the most for me. Alright, that was number eight. Number nine, do you have a book with two maps in it? Two maps? I would guess that if I had to choose a book that would have two maps, Brandon Sanderson seems like a pretty safe choice. This is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. Oh, 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 here's one. This one's in color. Ooh, she's nice. Okay, let's see if there's another one. Please have more than one map. Brandon, you're letting me down. Oh, just kidding. Here's another one. Actually, wait a second. This is a map of Roshar. This is also a map of Roshar. There's this one, and there's this one. They're different. Tell me they're different. Are there more? There might be more. Oh! Whoa! -ho -ho! Here we go! Oh yeah! Brandon Sanderson coming in clutch. You guys, I'm sweating. I literally have a radius of maybe like two feet. I'm just walking back and forth from here to there, and I'm sweating. All right! Do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? Do I have a book that was turned into a TV show? That was a movie. Shatter Me. Is Shatter Me being turned into a TV show? Oh, I was out of frame. Oh, The Raven Boys. That's being turned into a TV show, right? No, actually, I don't know. I don't know if this really counts. Let's pretend it does. I chose City of Glass by Cassandra Clare because The Mortal Instruments is a The Shadowhunters TV show. I don't know. Garbage either way. Sorry. That probably hurt people's feelings. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Do you have a book written by someone who is originally famous for something else? Yeah. For sure. I have two, and they're right next to each other because they're buddies, and I think best friends should have the space next to each other on bookshelves in addition to all the shared space they have in real life. Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. Yes, please, by Amy Poehler. They're both actresses, comedians, hilarious humans, also very good storytellers. Alright, get in there. Get in there. Yeah, yeah, get in there. Alright. Do you have a book with a clock on the cover? My first instinct is... Clockwork Princess or Clockwork Prince, just because they have the word clock in them. I don't want to use Cassandra Clare for like half of these things. So let's try something else. Birthmarked, maybe? Nope, definitely not. Why did I think that? I'm just looking through uh, some HP. So that's a no. Article 5 would? No, she does not. The Lost Girl? Nope. Ooh, Cruel, maybe? Wait, no. Okay, this one's actually pretty hard. All right, I guess I'll just be basic and choose... Wait, watch these not even have clocks. Oh my god, they don't even have clocks. I was gonna use you as a backup, but you failed me. That's pretty rude. Oh boy. I think this is a no-go. I don't think we're finding one. What about, do you have a poetry book? Definitely not. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even checking. I am 99% certain I do not have a poetry book. I have some Shakespeare, but uh, those are Shakespeare plays, just written in verse. I don't know if that counts. Probably not. What is poetry even? Who can tell me? That's a no from me. We don't have poetry in this household. Do you have a book with an award stamp on it? Let's see. Eleanor and Park? Maybe I bought Eleanor and Park too quickly for it to have an award. Yeah. Too quick. What can I say? Ahead of the curve. Winger, maybe? Did Winger win an award? No. Nah, it just got hyped. Okay. Oh, there we go. Looking for Alaska by John Green. It was a Prince Honor book during what year? Cannot remember. All right, we're on number 15 out of 20. Let's go. Let's go. Do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? Probably not. I'm SL. Oh, hold on. Whoa. -ho -ho. Wow, this is, uh, this is tough. How am I supposed to put this one back? The Girl with a Dragon Tattoo, written by Stieg Larsson, SL. Nice, we got it. We're moving on. Do you have a book of short stories? <laughs> um, yes, Because You Love to Hate Me is a book of short stories. Also, so is... Where's Alice Munro? Here you are. Oh, I could also do BJ Novak. See, short story anthologies, I got it. Poetry books, that's not me. One More Thing by BJ Novak. And I also have Too Much Happiness by Alice Munro. Both are short story collections. Very, very different genres, I would say. But your girl has them. It's not going back there. I can't do that. It's just going to stay on top. Want to be on top? Do you have a book that's between 500 and 510 pages long? Yes, probably. Where? I don't know. How long is Breaking Dawn? This is thick. Oh no. This is like 750. I really overshot that. I guess you are a really thick boy. New Moon, maybe? 563. Twilight. Take us home. 498. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Carry on looks pretty thick, right? 517. Ah! <laughs> Maybe unravel me? She looks thick. Ooh, she has deckled edges. Okay. Throw back to the first question. 461. Not thick enough. You failed me. Before I fall. Let's go. Let's go. 470. Oh my god. 550. That's too much. Too much. Sarah J. Mask, can you pull through? No. 
You cannot. It's 406. Ooh, maybe Lainey Taylor. Lainey Taylor writes thick books. 416. Not thick enough. I ran out of space on my camera looking for a 500 page book. 513! 513! Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh my god. 457. Please. No, she looks too thick. Yeah, she's like 600. Why is this so hard? 469? Ha ha ha. 69. Ah! Okay. Insurgent, maybe? I know Divergent's only 487 pages because I know that book. 525. 426. I don't think I'm gonna find a book that's 500 pages. Yeah, this is like 700. I have no gauge of how big a 500 page book is supposed to look like. Y'all, I can't do this. I had a 498 and I got 513. I got really close. Really close, but no cigar. Do you have a book that was turned into a movie? Yeah, absolutely. Divergent. Insurgent. Hunger Games, Catching Fire, Mockingjay, all these Harry Potters, The Lightning Thief, that was garbage, we all knew it, The Fifth Wave, that was a movie, all of these, these were movies, there are tons, there are tons, let's move on. Do you have a graphic novel? No, I do not. <laughs> I don't think I've ever read a graphic novel in my life, which is sad, but that's okay, I have time. Do you have a book written by two or more authors? Yes, Illuminae, written by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Um, yeah, Maximum Ride, James Patterson and all his ghost writers. Ah! <laughs> Finally, the last book. Oh, that was the last one. Oh, lol. Got it. Killed it. So that was the Do I Have That Book Challenge. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it. I got, like, embarrassingly sweaty doing this, so uh, thanks for watching me glisten. That was the video. Hopefully you found it entertaining. If you guys know if any of these books on my shelves are between 500 and 510 pages, let me know. Actually, I don't know if I want to know because then I'd just be angry at myself. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope y'all have a fantastic day. You guys, I know this outfit doesn't look like much, but this is a Madewell top that I found in my sister's closet. And these are Madewell jeans that I bought for myself last week, and it was the very first purchase I've ever made in that expensive, expensive store. And like I said, doesn't look like much, but I'm pretty sure this is like the most expensive outfit I've ever had on my body, with the exception of maybe my senior year prom dress and like this time that I wore someone else's Patagonia. Okay, yes, thanks for watching. I hope y'all have a fantastic day and happy reading. Bye!